I'm Jennifer Sinas here watching News 24 Live. Well, I'm joined in studio by Lucy from Juniva.com. And today we're going to be chatting about vitamin D. Hello. Hi. Now, you know this already. We've gone out onto the street and asked people what they thought of vitamin D, if they think that people get enough vitamin D through natural sources, or if you should be taking the pill supplement. Let's see what they had to say. I think that um, for vitamin D, vitamin B, that we should not take natural substances like the sun and things because as to climate change and through our life is going to it now, um, it seems that more things are becoming more raw in a sense that it's harming us more than back in 10 years time from now where the sun wasn't as efficient as it is now. So I think that chemically and um, chemically, chemically uh, formed substances that are created by doctors, etc., and scientists and things will be much better for us because, due to due to life itself, knowledge has been knowledge has been escalating since the time from what 19. I think you should get uh, calcium from natural products, and uh, I think the reason for that is uh, it's healthier and more sustainable. Not supplements, because there's a whole lot of other stuff in supplements. I think. Um, so the natural, I, I prefer the natural stuff rather than supplements and things like that. Like tablets I don't trust, so <laughs> so yes, the fruits, the potatoes, the whatever, even vitamin D, the sun, all of that natural all the time. All right, so we have one person who is for taking the supplement and another person who's for natural, um, natu natural ways of getting vitamin D. What is your Okay, just one point to make. Um, the lady pointed out that vitamin D um, comes from the sun, and it is known mm -hmm. as the sunshine vitamin, um, because when sun actually hits your skin, it produces vitamins, uh, vitamin D from right. substances in your body. So you do get vitamin D from, a di from dietary sources and also from that conversion from the sun. And of course, then there are also concerns of exposure to the sun right. um, and um, cancer risk later mm. on. So that's something to, to think about. And um, there aren't blanket recommendations that people should be taking vitamin D in supplement form. Um, there, are we, there are ways that we can get our vitamin D in through fruits, and that would be in things like our fatty fish again. So it is a very healthy thing to include in our diet. Um, as I said, the American Academy of Pediatrics does recommend vitamin D for children um, from an early age. But again, there aren't recommendations in South Africa. So right. we can't um, always take recommendations from other countries and apply them here because of the different um, environmental factors and all of the different other factors that play a role. For certain individuals, for example, um, in countries where women are expected to be very covered up, um, vitamin D supplements may be beneficial for those groups um, or in, in cases of deficiency, um, they may be necessary. Um, but those are obviously things that would need to be individually assessed um, and individually recommended. So for the general population, we should be getting our vitamin D from our food.